Hello, hello, mom and at me world kinda. So I want to start off by saying that I have wanted one of these docks for a long time now, ever since 2020 when I had an M1 MacBook Pro. Yes, a 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. And that machine only had two Thunderbolt ports along with a headphone jack, all for your accessories and for charging, all with those two ports. So this particular dock does have room for USB-A accessories an SD card reader, your ethernet port, and a non-Thunderbolt monitor if you so choose, along with providing power, all in a singular cable. And you actually don't have to worry about occupying those two Thunderbolt ports because this one already has a Thunderbolt bolt port input on the back of this particular device. So I would say that if you have an M1 or an M2 MacBook Pro, the 13 inch M2 MacBook Pro, and it also goes with the same for a MacBook Air, whether or not it's M1 or an M2 version of the MacBook Air, this would go really, really well with that particular computer. Also, if you have an iPad Pro that supports Thunderbolt input, so I wanted to address a couple things. There is a TS4 version of this out right now, which does add another Thunderbolt input. So instead of having one extra Thunderbolt input, you'll have a second one. You get 2.5 gig gigabit per second ethernet versus gigabit ethernet. And you've also got a micro SD card reader in addition to the SD card reader. So those of you with a keen eye will notice that there is a TS4 box in the video as opposed to a TS3 box in the video. And that is because I had purchased this on OfferUp. So those unfamiliar with OfferUp, it is like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace where you search an item you'd like to buy, message the person, agree upon a time and place to meet and then buy the item. Items are typically used so you're rolling the dice when you buy. Since we both had high ratings on OfferUp I was less worried about the purchase. The exchange took all of 10 seconds and he showed me the item. I gave him the money and he gave it to me in a TS4 box. I'm always curious as to why people are selling their items but this was very obvious they had upgraded to the TS4 model. So if you have a choice between the TS3 and the TS4, I would definitely get the TS4 because it's the newer model out. Unless, of course, you could purchase a TS3 for a really good price. And I believe I did. I had picked this model up for $75. Not too bad considering it still goes for about $300. The TS4 goes for about $400. But again, if you don't have either and you're picking it up brand new, I'd go with a TS4 just with the benefits that it is a newer model and should last for quite a few years. So I am testing this with my wife's 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. When I got this home, I noticed that as soon as I plugged in the cable, I was using the cable that came with her MacBook Pro. It is a USB-C cable, an Apple branded USB-C cable. I had noticed that it had started charging, but I had also noticed that I get a message right off the bat saying, this Thunderbolt accessory is not compatible. So I'm thinking to myself, did I get a broken or defective TS3 that I had just picked up? And so what I did was I went to CalDigit's site and I had looked up their troubleshooting and support and it had linked me to a video. And upon watching the video, I had noticed one thing. They were using the supplied Thunderbolt cable that this did not come with. So upon relooking at the ad, they never showed the Thunderbolt 3 cable, and that's totally fine. So I happen to have an extra Apple Thunderbolt cable lying around. So the particular cable I got is not a very long cable, so it doesn't have very much reach. If you do want a longer cable, it is significantly more. But luckily I did have one and lo and behold, the LED light lit up right away as soon as I plugged it in. So for those of you who've got a M1 or an M2 Mac Mini, a 13 inch MacBook Pro, or 13 inch MacBook Air, I would suggest picking up this dock for a great Thunderbolt accessory. Not only will you still have another Thunderbolt port, but you can have power, an SD card, Ethernet, and all your USB-A ports all in one. 
and this makes for just a really, really convenient setup. So if you've got a monitor lying around that you can plug this into, or you've got a keyboard or mouse or keyboard or trackpad, you can turn your laptop, your iPad into a home setup if you'd like. And this is probably a really darn good accessory, especially if you can get it for $100 or less. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. It really helps out our channel. Thank you.